that lies between us and getting down to local mob. Welcome back to another adventure vlogs on Every Road Adventures. We are here at Sawmill Sediment. Um, we are going to go and head up to uh, Tomahawk Hut and have a look up through there. Um, and we might even sneak over Ball Hill and have a look through there. Go up and have a look, find some snow possibly. Inside Tomahawk Hut. This was first built in 1927. This is a really cool little hut in here. I've been up here and there's it does get snow up here, so no snow today though. If that is a woodshed. Tomahawk Hut. Cool little uh, Alpine hut, cattleman's hut. Um, table and chairs fireplace if you get a chance don't need a full drive to get up here uh, but do it and you may even if you come up the right time there's no lock gates so you might even get some snow so i've just been airing down um i left the tires at road conditions road pressures so i've dropped it down was running 38 pound in them. I've now dropped front down to 26 pound and rears down to 28. Just to smooth the trip out it means I can go lower if I need to. Um, but we'll start from there. We're now going to change our plans. We're gonna head back along the Evans Creek track um, and pop out over at Lake William Hobble and have a look over there. So let's go and have a look. chosen to head down Evans Creek track rather than going up the Buckland Spur which is behind me um, it's a bit of a easier drive the drop down to Lake William Hovel is not as steep um, and just myself and the kids on a cruisy afternoon drive it's all we're gonna need It'll be a nice bit of fun and I think there's even a hut along here too so I'll stop and have a look at that
along this Evans Creek track and um, pretty greasy so I mean I can see why they shut it down during winter Hey Daniel. Yeah? Bit of a wild yeah. ride? Yeah. Yeah, it was that was pretty slippery. So we just used the ruts to guide us down because we were on it's all we had. So we're all good now down that part, so we'll see what the rest is. see is uh, Evans Creek hunt. Uh, there's a few campers here uh, gone off hunting so we didn't stay long. Pretty small hunt. There's a couple of swags set up in there. It's about all the room there is inside that one. Uh, and a nice fresh flowing creek in behind it so we're gonna keep heading down Evans Creek track back down towards Lake William. <laughs> that lies between us and getting down to Lake Louis Mob. That is just pure slot. bad as I thought it'd be but yeah that second uh see just back here yeah, that second little mud hole that was definitely uh a lot deeper than I anticipated and well, Triton's uh, a bit stinky smelly mud at the moment I just come around the corner and it looks like it's pretty steep little hill so I'm just hopping out to have a quick look uh, and work out my plan of attack. Alright, just had a look. I don't think it's too bad up there. The track looks pretty grippy so we're just gonna crawl up it. We'll go up alright and yeah, come out the other side. <laughs> too bad got up that first low range really just crawled up it so 
move on. Just dropped down off the back of, or off Evans Creek. We're now down in the back of Lake William Hobble, which is down over behind us. But now we're gonna call down there and uh, have a look at the lake one day up. We have finally made it here to Lake William Hobble. It's an awesome lake, really full of redfin and trout. Cool fishing lake. So we have um, finally made it. We've slipped and slid our way down here. And it has just shown that there really is an adventure on every road. So I'll catch you in our next adventure.